Hi, I'm Vance Friedenberg. I'm an associate professor of biology here at San Francisco State University. And I'm going to show you how to collect a skin microbiome swab from a live amphibian. Now, many of us are uh, now trying to understand what types of species, both bacterial and fungal, live on the skin of amphibians because we think it might be uh, important in understanding the, the health and disease of the organisms. Okay, so these are the items that we need to collect a microbiome swab. Uh, we need sterile water, which we're going to rinse the animal with before we collect the swab. And the sterile water is basically, uh, we use 50 milliliters of it, and we use it to try to rinse off the transient bacteria that may have gotten stuck on the animal, but may not live there. We also need a sterile swab. We need a vial with a lid, a locking lid. We like these ones that have little O-rings in them. And then, of course, we want to wear a new pair of gloves with every animal that we handle. Today I've got a Wyoming toad, Anaxyris baxteri. Here it is right here. Beautiful animal. I will start by using approximately 50 mils of sterile water, and I'm going to rinse the animal. And the idea behind that is to rinse any bacteria that might just be stuck on the animal, as opposed to the bacteria or fungi that are actually living on the animal. So we want to tease that apart so that we're looking at the actual communities that are in symbiosis with this host. The protocol for doing this is we take our little swab and we're going to swab it, basically slide it along the skin of the animal for 30 seconds. Okay, so it's a timed swab. And during that 30 seconds, I'm going to try to cover as much of the animal surface area on the outside as I can. Sorry, buddy, that tickles. I'm also going to try to do it right under their nares and across the top of their head. I'm avoiding the eye. I don't want to hurt him. Those digits under his arms to the webbing between his toes. I'm trying to get all the nooks and crannies through the vent area, this drink patch right here. See that right there? So I'm being gentle, but I'm still getting quite a lot of friction, which is good. Lateral sides. And the dorsal side as well. And notice that as I go, sometimes a little bit of the swab starts coming off. That synthetic material starts coming off a little bit. And that's because these guys have pretty rough skin, and so it gets stuck on them. So that's about 30 seconds. Now my animal is ready to go. I would take standard measurements on the toad, like body size, body length, weight, that kind of thing. Now all I do is I take my sterile swab, and I, as quickly as, as I can, I put it in my vial, wrap that up with the lid, and now I put it, I'm going to put it in a minus 80 freezer until we're ready to extract the DNA from this. All right, so I'm going to collect the skin microbiome swab from a newt. We've got Trica rivularis, which is a red-bellied newt found here in California. I'm going to start by rinsing them off with 50 mils of sterile water. The idea here is to knock off any transient bacteria. Now we're ready to collect the swab. The protocol calls for swabbing him basically for 30 seconds. I'm going to try to hit all of his body as I do it. Of course, I want to do it hard enough to actually pick up those bacteria or fungi that live there, but soft enough where I don't hurt the animal. And try to get through the vent area, as well as all through his little digits, on the top of the body and the bottom. Notice how rough he is up here. It's okay if that swab comes undone a little bit. I also want to get up around the face and the nares, but be really gentle there, obviously. Sorry, buddy. The sides. And I'm also going to get the tail. All right, that's about 30 seconds. He's ready to go back home. Break off my swab. Put it in my vial. Lock that lid on, and now it's ready for the minus 80 freezer.